What if the next big leap in global defense technology doesn't fly, but launches silently at Mach 7 using pure magnetic force? China has just revealed a groundbreaking electromagnetic railgun concept that could send 60 kilogram projectiles over 400 kilometers in mere minutes, without explosives, fuel, or jet engines. In this video, we break down how this system works, what makes it so different from anything developed before, and why this innovation might reshape the way we think about long-range strike capabilities. Electromagnetic railguns have fascinated scientists for decades, but they've always run into the same set of limitations, overheating, interference, and hardware damage. Now, Chinese military researchers are proposing a completely different blueprint. Their solution? A railgun with a radical X-shaped configuration, essentially two electromagnetic launchers stacked in one barrel, each operating on a separate power system. This idea comes from a newly published paper by a research team at the PLA's Army Engineering University. The team, led by Professor Liu Qingao, has designed this system to fire large solid projectiles using intense electromagnetic pulses. Unlike conventional artillery or missile systems that rely on combustion or chemical propellants, railguns use electrical currents and magnetic fields to accelerate projectiles to extreme velocities. But previous designs had serious drawbacks. Overheating rails, limited projectile mass, and interference between circuits that drained energy and reduced performance. What's different here is how the X-barrel solves those problems. By separating the power circuits into two perpendicular rails, the system allows for each electromagnetic channel to operate independently. This approach minimizes mutual interference, allowing stronger, more stable current delivery. That means bigger projectiles and higher velocities, potentially without melting the system. According to their theoretical models, the railgun could launch a 60-kilogram slug across 400 kilometers in under six minutes. That's several times the range of standard naval artillery, using only electricity. Earlier Chinese prototypes like the one seen aboard the Haiyang Shan in 2018 were limited to 15-kilogram projectiles because of rail damage caused by excessive electrical stress. The new model appears engineered to overcome that limitation by sharing load across two distinct magnetic fields. It's worth noting that this X-barrel system hasn't yet been physically tested, but the modeling and simulation results suggest a powerful leap forward. The dual-rail design might even allow for sequential or overlapping current pulses, further boosting projectile velocity while protecting the barrel structure from excessive wear. More than just a technical upgrade, this configuration represents a fresh mindset, a break from conventional design paths. Instead of trying to improve old methods incrementally, the Chinese researchers are asking a bigger question. What happens if we redesign the entire system architecture from scratch? This is the type of thinking that often leads to genuine breakthroughs, and in this case, the result could be one of the most efficient high-speed launch systems ever devised. Speed has always been a key factor in long-range systems, but achieving Mach 7, over 8,600 km per hour, usually involves rocket propulsion, advanced jet engines, or hypersonic glide vehicles. This new electromagnetic railgun concept skips all of that. Instead, it relies entirely on electrical energy and magnetic force to propel solid metal objects faster than most high-tech missiles. According to the published estimates, the projectile launched by this railgun would not only reach Mach 7 at its peak, but also maintain impact speeds of Mach 4 after traveling over 400 kilometers. That level of sustained velocity is practically unheard of without onboard propulsion. Even more remarkable, the entire journey would take less than six minutes, making it one of the fastest strike-capable systems ever conceived, based solely on raw kinetic force. Traditional systems like cruise missiles or ballistic technologies require a host of components, engines, fuel tanks, guidance systems, and explosive warheads. These add weight, complexity, and cost. They're also vulnerable to detection, interception, and various atmospheric conditions. This railgun sidesteps most of those issues. The projectile is essentially a hardened metal slug with no onboard electronics or fuel. That simplicity gives it both reliability and stealth. From an economic standpoint, the difference is massive. A single advanced missile can cost millions of dollars. In contrast, the raw materials for a railgun projectile are far less expensive, 
and the launch process uses electrical power that can be stored and reused. This makes the system ideal for high volume use with low operational costs, especially if paired with renewable energy sources or onboard capacitors. The real impact here isn't just technical, it's conceptual. If proven viable, this design could change how large nations approach rapid response systems. Without relying on payloads or fuel, such systems could offer consistent, high-speed delivery across land or sea, with significantly reduced risk of failure due to mechanical issues. Additionally, their lack of explosive materials makes them easier to store, transport, and deploy safely in peacetime environments. It's important to remember that this concept remains theoretical, but the numbers alone, Mach 7 velocity, 6-minute flight time, zero fuel dependency is enough to earn global attention. If this railgun becomes reality, it may become the prototype for a new generation of ultra-fast, low-cost delivery systems that rely on physics instead of fuel. While the engineering vision is compelling, China's electromagnetic railgun concept is still in the early stages, with several critical challenges standing between the blueprint and a working prototype. The most immediate and complex issue is what researchers call the proximity effect. This occurs when two closely packed electrical circuits interact with each other, potentially causing energy losses, unexpected interference, or performance instability. In a traditional single rail setup, this issue is hard enough to manage. But in China's X-barrel design, where two rails intersect and operate simultaneously, the risk of proximity interference becomes even greater. The dual power systems must be perfectly synchronized and shielded to ensure electromagnetic pulses don't cancel each other out or distort the projectile's trajectory. So far, the team has only run digital simulations to suggest this is manageable. No live hardware has been built or tested. Another major limitation is energy supply. A launch system capable of propelling a 60-kilogram slug to Mach 7 requires tens of megajoules of power in a split second. This kind of energy delivery isn't something current vehicles or ships are easily equipped to handle. Massive capacitor banks or pulse power generators would be needed, along with cooling systems to manage heat and prevent rail erosion, a problem that plagued previous U.S. Navy prototypes, which were limited to around 100 firings before barrel replacement was needed. And then there's the problem of scale. How do you fit such a large, power-hungry system onto a mobile platform without sacrificing space, efficiency, or safety. The U.S. Navy ultimately halted its railgun program in 2021 partly because of these integration issues. Power limitations and structural stress on ships made it difficult to justify operational deployment. It's unclear how China plans to address this, though its investment in new power infrastructure and ship classes may play a role. What makes this effort unique is the persistence. Rather than abandoning railgun research after early setbacks, China appears committed to long-term development by reimagining the underlying design, not just refining existing ones. They are exploring possibilities others have set aside. Even if the X-Railgun never becomes fully operational, the research could lead to improvements in electromagnetic launch systems, satellite launch tools, or next-gen propulsion technologies. This approach shows a clear willingness to push boundaries and challenge accepted limitations. It also underscores a broader trend. Rather than reacting to setbacks by retreating, China is choosing to innovate past the problems, a strategy that might, over time, yield real-world applications no one else is currently prepared for. China's bold electromagnetic railgun concept may still be on the drawing board, but it's already redefining what's possible. A projectile moving at Mach 7 without fuel, warheads, or onboard propulsion sounds like science fiction, yet detailed blueprints and simulations now suggest otherwise. While significant challenges remain, the ambition behind this project signals a shift in long-range system design. If realized, it could inspire new applications in transportation, space launches, and energy-efficient delivery systems.
To dive deeper, click the link to watch our full video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you there.